Hey guys, welcome back to program up and today in this episode we're gonna learn how can we install flutter into the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor or any of the Apple silicon processors. So guys, we'll be guiding you with the complete steps for installing flutter environment in your new MacBook Pro. And before we go ahead with the installation of flutter into the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor or the Apple silicon any of the so you'd be requiring a few more things before that to be installed. So you'd be requiring the JDK as well as you'll be requiring to install Android Studio SDKs and Xcode. So the reason for that is because you'd be needing that for simulation. So if you are trying to have a look at any of the emulators or simulators, so you'll be requiring them. So that is the reason we do recommend you to install Android Studio JDK 8 and Xcode and the command line tools. So we already have made up a complete video for installation of Android Studio and JDK. So if you want to have a look at to them, the link is into the top right corner and click up there and have a look and guys let's get into the computer now and let's try to install flutter so very first let's open up safari i'll be going to the flutter website so let's open up flutter so here we have flutter let's get into docs get started so for mac os we need to download this it says that if you're installing on mac with the latest m1 processor you might find these supplementary notes useful reading as we complete support for the new apple silicon architecture so firstly we'll need to download this so let's click up over here allow now it's getting downloaded it will take some time so now it's downloaded completely and let's go ahead into the downloads folder and try to set this up so we are here so we have this folder over here of flutter so everything is downloaded and extracted so one thing that we need to do first of all is go up to home directory so i'll be creating a dev folder over here the reason for that would be because i'll be using that to keep up all my sdks at one place that i'll be requiring again and again so i'll create a dev folder here okay so it's dev now i'll go inside and create one more folder that will be called as flutter so inside this folder i'll be keeping all my files that we have just downloaded so i'll transfer all the files from this folder to this folder okay oops so we need it to try yes so now everything is into the flutter folder so into dev flutter and we have everything here now we need to set the path so now setting the path let's get into the terminal and try to set the path so path first of all i'll be invoking nano till that zsh rc now here i would be adding the path for this so we have already by the way documented the entire procedure how can you do this so i'll just copy this and i'll paste here okay now into the path section i need the directory for flutter so i would be just getting to bin and get info i'll try to copy this complete path and get here and delete this paste so now we have pasted it now control x y and enter now i'll try to source zshrc so let's source this so as we can get the new path it's done let's type in flutter and try to execute oops so the problem that was here is that we actually haven't copied all the files if i just click here so there are some files here that are hidden so that are actually needing to be moved into that directory as well so we'll be moving that to the directory where we have pasted all the files so i'll just open once again one more directory so the same one and get into the dev okay so inside the dev inside the flutter i will try to move these files as well because if i if we don't move this it won't work properly and we have just missed that so we'll be moving this yeah now we have got everything moved here and by the way to have a look at to the hidden files you can click command shift period or dot so command shift period for 
hide and unhide okay so now it's done now it should probably work let's source this once again so source to let us search rc okay now let's go ahead to flutter so it's done so flutter is installed completely now if you want to just go ahead with using the flutter if you want to create a new project so you can just go along creating a new project and deploy the complete android sdks and everything for that so guys this had been the complete video for how you can set up flutter on a new macbook pro with the m1 pro processor or any of the apple silicon so if you have got any more doubts any more questions please leave that down in the comment section below we'll be happy to help you and if you liked our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Meet you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.